Hello, welcome to Lavender Arts and Crafts. My name is Lisa, and today I'm doing a fourth video in my series of outdoor DIY Christmas decorations. I had a vision of turning my house into a giant gingerbread house for Christmas. So previously I have showed you how to make candy canes out of pool noodles, peppermint candies out of paper plates, and gumdrops out of plastic buckets. But the one thing missing from my gingerbread house was frosting. So last year I set out to figure out how I was going to make it look like there was frosting along the roof line of my house. I wanted something lightweight and waterproof that would stand up against snow and rain. So the idea I came up with was to use a white vinyl shower curtain liner. And in this video, I'm going to explain how I did that. So the supplies that you're going to need are a white vinyl shower curtain liner, or perhaps two, depending on how big your house is. You'll also need a package of Christmas ornament hangers, and then your usual strand of outdoor Christmas lights that you would normally run along the roof line of your house. Once you have your supplies, you're going to open up the shower curtain liner and lay it out on a very large table or flat on the floor, and you're going to cut it into equal strips, about a foot wide. Once you have the strips cut, you're going to then cut frosting drips along the bottom of each strip. Just like that. And what I did was I cut the first strip and then used that as a pattern to cut all the other ones. That way you have some consistency with the length of the frosting drips. The next step is to attach your frosting to your Christmas lights. So you'll want to bring inside your strands of Christmas lights, lay them out on the floor, possibly down a long hallway, and then you're going to use the Christmas ornament hangers to attach it. So you'll poke it through the top of your frosting and twist it. You wanna make sure that you twist it so that it doesn't come off while you're trying to hang it. Then the other end of the hanger is gonna be twisted around your strand of lights. And you want it to hang just a little bit below the strand of lights so that it doesn't interfere with hanging it up. The final step is to hang your frosting. So you're gonna to wanna to get out your ladder and I would advise having a helper to hold the excess frosting and Christmas lights so that it doesn't get all tangled up. And you're just gonna hang the strand of lights the way that you normally would. And the frosting will hang behind it and a little bit below it. If you have icicle lights, you'll wanna pull that icicle part so that it hangs down in front of your frosting drips. And that's it. So I hope you try this. It's really fun to do something different for your Christmas decorations. If you'd like to check out my other Christmas decorating videos, you can go to my channel, Lavender Arts and Crafts, and click on the Christmas playlist. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.